Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Ooh, I just want to come out and say this. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, first off, I want to just say, I guess people, oh, I want to say this shit. I guess people, this is what, before I say, before I get into what I'm going to say, I guess this is what people mean by this is YouTube, because this is what I'm talking about, YouTube. I don't think you can do StreamYard on any other platform, <clears throat> I mean, any other social media um, app, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to say this because I'm a part of this, this thing, this um, funny sitcom. First off, I'm a part of the 227 sitcom. If people didn't know, well, now you know. First off, it seems people is getting the wrong perceptive of 227 when Raina channel name is Keto and T I can't handle the truth there is four of us <clears throat> doing a sitcom of 227 and it seemed like people was getting the wrong perceptive of what 227 is about when Raina, Keto, and T explained herself time and time and time again why she did it and what she did it for, what she's doing it for. Okay? People just running amok saying they own quote unquote honest giving their own quote unquote honest opinion of it when she explained herself you can't get it you can't people can't get what she said or they just wanna spin it into their own little head of what they see it's about. First off, she didn't say it was a movement. And I know that for sure because I talked to her I talk to her personally. I do. And she explained what it was, what, why she came up with the idea of that. She didn't say it was a movement. 227 is not a movement. And we all, everybody that's involved in the 227, know what it's about. Even some of the people that come in and watch what 227 is about. We said make YouTube fun again. We didn't say it was we didn't say 227 was a, a, a movement. So where did that come in at? Where did she say 227 was a movement? 227 is not a movement. With the blackout movement with Loka. That was a blackout movement, not a 227. We said make YouTube fun again. That's why we came up with the 227, okay? And if people don't like the sitcoms, you don't have to like it. But getting the wrong perception of what she said it was about is just totally disrespectful. And people just can't fucking comprehend. They can't get it. And then it's about bashing and stuff. No, we can't laugh. We can't have fun. We cannot laugh. You you all act like, uh, oh, they laughing at this person and bringing her channel down. How is it bringing her channel down? It's not bringing her channel down. 
from as far as I know, them numbers is going up. They going up. So what are you, what what are you, what's y'all problem? Y'all see the numbers going up and y'all want her to go down? And I knew it was gonna be some shit when she said a certain content creator is her mentor. I knew that. I even told her this. Yep, I talked to her. I talked to Raina personally. I sure do. And ain't scared to admit it. And I'm not scared of nobody on this app. Or in a social media world. Because that's all it seemed to people in a fantasy world. Some people just don't get it. But you don't get it. That's your problem. That's your problem. But people can't have fun. And we and we do things our way on there. Not saying anything goes. Like if some fuck shit come up, then she know what to do with her channel. It's her channel. And I believe she said what she did. She, um, the 227 thing versus her own 227 is mixed in with her own personal channel, the Keto and T. Somebody mentioned that maybe she should have did 227 on another channel, but no, she didn't have to. And she didn't do it. She did it her way. She did it her way. I probably would have did the same thing if I would have came up with a sitcom. I would have did it on, on this channel. I wouldn't have had no separate channel for it. I wouldn't. And it is growing. People just hate the fact that they see it growing. I see her growing. That she did this. It's people that can't comprehend is the main ones that's trying to ruin something. Trying to ruin things. When she said time and time again what 227 is about. You don't have to watch it. It's women sitting on if you haven't watched 227 on the thing, it's basically women's they sometimes they not even sitting on the stoop. But in this case, we're sitting on the stoop. We're on the stoop. We outside. We're on the stoop. We're talking about what goes on in the YouTube streets. We're not trying to mimic the, the show itself. We're not trying to mimic the show. We're mimicking. I'm not mimicking. We are doing what we see in the YouTube streets. She said that. She said it time and time again. And just because who she said is her mentor, y'all getting carried away with it. Folks getting carried away with it. Oh, that's all I hear. Yeah, I watched some of the lives this morning. I watched some of them last night. And if I get to a point where I feel a headache from the come on, I start watching. That's why sometimes when I go live, I don't even look at my chat. It's not that I don't want to see y'all. It's just that I concentrate better by looking right right now. Well, I'm I'm doing I'm not doing a live video, but I'm doing a live recording. A recording, rather. And I'm not even looking at my phone. I'm looking at the wall because I better concentrate without looking at the chat. Y'all saying she was distracted by her chat. Her demeanor changed. Maybe it did. And I felt certain person, certain content creator was manip manipulative in trying to change things up or how she feel. I do talk to her. It's not about that though. It's about people not getting what is what the sitcom is about. It ain't like it's supposed. We're not doing like they doing on the uh, the TV show itself. You see, we don't have everybody in there. It's just, and she explained it about her her mother's girlfriend sitting on the stoop. I ain't even gonna go there. 
listen to her video. Go to her video and listen to it. But I know some of you ain't going to listen to it because y'all don't want to. Y'all just can't stand her because she supports state gang and the sippers. I do too. I support a lot of people in this sector, some outside this sector. It's not just certain, it's not just two people. I mean, well, several people of what they call themselves. We call ourselves the neighbors because of the 227 thing. Raina has her individual keto and tea, and then she has the 227, which was a good ass idea. To me. And I see several others say the same thing. To me, me, me only. Because I got my own mind. M I N D. I got my own mind. Ain't nobody manipulating manipulating my mind. Kind of tongue tack. Yep, I I whatever. It's early. Well, it ain't that early. It's 10 o'clock here at the 10. So I may twist up my words a little bit or whatever. But people trying to make it make this content creator like she is God of the of this sector. And she not. And I say what I want to say because it's my because it's me. Because it's me. Because I can do that. And I am grown. Don't nobody had to put no words in my fucking mouth to say what I want to say. And I wasn't being messy in the chat. It's what I see. I don't care. I'm blocked out of folks' chat. I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't. Sometimes you have to come outside on these people because they don't understand. Not saying they're going to get an understanding because it seems like motherfuckers are slow and they're going to have it twisted in their mind that it's this, that, and this. And they ain't going to believe you. They ain't going to believe nothing. They act like they want to hear what you got to say and oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. When it's not okay. You can mention me all the fuck you want. I don't care. Because can't nobody change my mind. Can't nobody manipulate my mind. No one. I follow no one. I go where I damn well please. All this free thinker shit and and this and that and coke shit and, and all this shit. It's ridiculous. I advise people to go find out what a coke means. Damn. I said this time and time again. Coke mentality, coke mentality, coke mentality. I follow no one. Just because y'all, like, damn, what is it with these two content creators? Y'all trying to get rid of them? I see that. But y'all see they still here. It's just these main two in this sector that everybody is talking about. Like, damn, y'all making them important. Y'all say they not important, but I can't I, I can't see that. That ain't what I see. They stay in folks' mouths. And the reason why that's being is because of what? Oh, I, I could say this. I went back there when this stuff was going on. I'm not inserting myself. I don't want to know what happened then. I don't of how this all started. And I believe if I was back then, I would see the truth. The truth. T-R-U-T-H. I will see it. I'm a good damn observer. I ain't gonna say analyst. I ain't trying to analyze none of this shit. Especially coming from some certain people. I am not. It's ridiculous. Some folks is just ridiculous and they want to try to manipulate your mind to believe in other stuff that they say that they say is truthful. 
And I said, the reason behind my name can't handle the truth because people can't handle the truth. They can't. They cannot. Or if you speak in something and they can't handle it, <laughs> what what that, what does that say? That say you can't handle the truth. It's the truth in my eyes. From me, it's the truth. I don't care what nobody else think. This certain content created is not the universe. And I will tell people. That's what I said in a few videos ago. That if you want to know something, ask me. I, ain't, I might not come on your panel. I'm not no panel up person. Although I do hit certain people's panels. But I'm not no panel person. You can ask me whatever. Now, I don't know fucking Instagram because I don't do Instagram that much. I don't deal with Instagram that much. So I don't I don't do the DMs anymore. I used to. You can come ask me why I stopped rocking with you. And I'll straight up tell you. I will. I will let you know. It's ridiculous. And I see when people with small channels and they trying to grow their channel, then when they finally get monetized, that's when the fuck shit want to start with people. It's a game to people on these YouTube streets. It's a game. Then and you hear some people say, why would you put your real life on here? I wouldn't put no real life on here. Whatever I put on here, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's the truth. I'm not trying to joke around. I'm not trying to do no fuck shit. It's the honest truth of what I put out here. Hell no, nah, I wouldn't put my personal life out here. No. Because this is social media. And I see what people do. They try to spin it around into their little heads and say what they want to say. And then say it's their honest opinion about something. Like that, that like that make it right. And it's not right. It's not. Like the 227 thing. Oh, it's a sitcom. Why they saying they want peace? It's about some movement. Who said it was about a movement? It is not a movement. What movement? Tell me. What movement is people talking about? Nobody say it was about no damn movement. She explained what it was about. She didn't say it was a part of no damn movement. And I see that a lot of people that join in on the sitcom idea, you know, they not getting bashed like Raina is, getting bashed with 227, all because Money Boy Trey was on the panel. Those are the two. Well, he is one of the two content creators that I'm talking about. That people got their problem with and they supposed to be our cult leaders and all that shit. Ain't nobody no cult. I'm not going to follow no one. I don't follow anyone. And I've been like this. Even before I was grown. My mama taught me how to be independent, not dependent and follow nobody. Shit, I barely follow her rules. Barely got my ass tore up, but sometimes I did get my ass tore up. I did. But rarely I did. She taught me independence. Not dependency. Except for when I was little. I had to depend on her. I had to. But when I was yeah, grown or semi-grown, in my late teenage years, because I had a child at 18 that I was raising and still in school. Yep. I sure did and took damn well care of my first child. Sure did. Raised him by myself without a father. And I think I did a damn good job. I pat myself on the motherfucking back. I sure do.
I give myself a clap. Because I raised him and he was something else. Something else. That's all y'all gonna get. My son was something else growing up. He took me through a loop. But I was there. He knew his mother was there. I did that. Just like my mother was a single mother that raised me. That raised three children. Three of us. By herself. So can't nobody manipulate my mind and tell me what to do or how to do it. Like I said, this is my channel. I don't see nobody trying to uh, tell Raina to do with her channel. Some people can make suggestions, and I have seen that. I've seen people make suggestions, not trying to tell her what to do. And if they were, she, she know what to do. She know how to shut them down. Raina is her own person. Just like everybody else supposed to be their own person. Like everybody else. So for people to just come out here and just say dumb shit. And so and so and so and so is trying to tell her channel that. Blah, blah, blah. If he is, she will know. I, I believe she will know about it. And I believe she will not allow it to happen. Just like I'm not going to allow nobody to say and do and, and think they can come over here and take over my shit. I build this shit up. I build this channel since they gave me a community wall. I wasn't going to even do no videos. I said, fuck it. I'm going to go ahead. Fuck it. <clears throat> Why not? Why not get a chance out there? And ever since I've been doing stuff, my numbers been going up, but I'm not even thinking about no numbers because I'm not even trying to get monetized. It is what it is. I'm doing this for fun, fun and entertainment because I like it. I like it. I got other social medias that I'm on that I deal with that because I like it, too. But I know how to turn this motherfucker off. I do because this is not my life. Social media ain't my damn life. I'm good over here with money. And money ain't everything, but I'm good over here. Once my bills is paid, I still got shit left over. Once I'm no longer here, it's well taken care of. But who, who wouldn't like extra shit, extra money? If I get there, I get there. If I don't, I don't. I'm not worried about it. So for people to sit up there and say in chats, yeah, I watch certain chats. I do. I ain't going to lie about it and say I don't watch her or I don't watch him. Because I do. I watch some people that I don't rock with anymore. I do. Some of them I'm blocked out of their chat. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm glad. I am so glad. Because some shit I want to say in the chat. I probably would have been blocked long time ago. Long time ago. But I be in the bushes, but not all the time. Not all the time. And sometimes when people mention my name, I don't I don't even address them. Because I don't want to make them relevant. Because they irrelevant to me. Like this certain content creator mentioned my name. Well, several of them did, but this one in particular, she mentioned my name in her little live video. I went to my community wall and said something to her. She responded back because I call her irrelevant. I said, you are irrelevant to me. Talking about we mentioned her, I mentioned her name in the video. I don't mention your name. And, and to say this, some people is given a name. Might as well say like a nickname or something on the YouTube streets. They they call them different names. Give them a, a nickname because 
that's what how they feel that they are. That's the behavior that they see. So they give them a nickname. Why would you own up to that? Somebody say this and that about you. Oh, it's you. So you want to come. That's not your name on YouTube. So why would you be worried about a name that somebody give you? If that's not you, then don't address it. That's just like a man. He see a, a nice looking female walking down the street. And he say, hey, hey, sweet thing. She be like, nigga, my name, I'm not no sweet thing. I'm not your sweet thing. He said, well, bitch, I wasn't even trying to talk to you. She walks off after she say what she said. And then, but he, he called her a bitch. Bitch, but take your ass on. And she turn around and she turn around and say, what you say? She answering to him. If you are not that bitch that he talking about, why answer to it? Just like people on here. They they gave him nicknames. Why you why would you address that if that's not you? Somebody say can't handle the truth is a uh give me a nickname. I don't know, whatever. Give me a nickname or something. They give me a a a, a, a nickname. Slow ho or or stupid goofy ass. That goofy ass. Goofy ass, we gonna call her or whatever. Just give, just uh, say a nickname or whatever. And I answer to it. That means I'm answering to the motherfucking name that they give me. I'm not gonna answer to nothing. If it ain't, ain't if it ain't can't handle the truth, I'm not gonna. I I will, and I may not address the shit. If it's not worth my time, I'm not gonna give it my time. And if I want to, I do it. If I don't, I'm not. Sometimes I don't even want to get, I don't give nobody no that energy because that's what they asking for. I will not give you that. Because you ain't worth my time. And if I do do it, I'll do it one time and one time only and then be done with it. You can keep on with your bullshit, but I'm not going to say nothing. I think 227 is great, and I'm going to still be in there. Some people think, oh, we'll see how long it's going to last. <laughs> yeah, keep on watching. Keep watching. Thank you. Keep on watching. We having fun over there. It ain't about, like I said, it ain't about the sitcom itself. We're not trying to uh, mimic the damn sitcom itself. We doing what we want to do. It's not scripted. It's not. She told y'all that. She said it's not scripted. It's not scripted. Whatever we say, whatever goes on, is what whatever goes on, whatever comes to our mind. I didn't know I ain't going was going to do that. It was funny as fuck to me. And I was laughing my ass off because it was fucking funny. It was. And I have a right to do that. I can laugh if I want to. Can't nobody control me. No one. It's not about uh, being manipulated. Oh, her channel ain't going to grow because of because of money, boy. Her channel ain't going to grow because the truth hurts. <laughs> They're not trying to destroy her channel. How? And just because she said on the panel in 227, I'm talking about the truth hurts. Just because she said on the panel, this show is canceled. Folks believing, oh, oh yeah, she trying to cancel 227. She don't even want them to have 227. What the fuck? Y'all can't get the joke behind that. She even said last night in her live why she said that. It was a joke. Damn, that there it is again. People can't comprehend. They can't read behind the the joke. Like, damn. Really? People is that fucking slow. That fucking slow. <laughs> 
Wow. Damn. It's sad. It's so damn sad. <laughs> But that's all I got to say. I mean, it's ridiculous. We can't laugh about nothing about the 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 commentary is, that we putting out here for the two to seven thing. And the sitcom is a good idea. The women, I, the ones I have seen so far, it's good. Two to seven, which I am in. I play. Uh, Sandra, I try to throw a little of her character in there here and now, now and again. I try to throw a little bit of her character in there, but we're not mimicking them exactly like them. Even though we had a little pictures up as our profile, we're not trying to mimic them. We're doing our own version of it, our own way. Damn. <laughs> oh, it's funny. It's funny because it's sad. Funny because it's sad. Laughing and crying laughing. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. <laughs> 227 will continue. And I'm saying that. And I, I wasn't even the one that originated it. But I stand behind it because I'm a part of it. And it's not no damn movement. It is not a movement. It is about fun, what she said. Make you too fun again. I see some certain people, certain content creators is out here trying to do something. Oh, I was going to mention the ones that's, that I watched so far. 227, of course. The Women of Brewster's Place. Uh, the Jeffersons. I watched Looney, like his intro thing. I don't think he really got it together. Looney Tunes. Um... QST did a little something, but I think her equipment or audio or something wasn't acting right. And I was trying to watch that. If she put something out, I try to go back and watch it. Um, she was doing "Give Me a Break." Oh, uh, and the real, the real with uh, B Nicole and the other ladies on the panel. Liz B, Cam is Cam. Uh, Scorpio, B. Nicole, Liz B. Scorpio, uh, who, uh, Cam. I think that's it. If that if if it's somebody else that I missed, let me know, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I know that's the women that I've seen on there, and those are the ones I've seen so far. And I I watch every one of them. Every one of them. And the idea is great. Even everybody that joined in on the sitcom making YouTube fun again. Is that what y'all said? It was a movement. She didn't say it was a movement thing. It was making YouTube fun again. So I don't even know. Well, maybe ask Raina. Is was uh two two seven bringing in two two seven um idea is a movement of making YouTube fun again? Is that a movement? Did you say it was a movement? Is it a movement? I just want to know that. Is it a movement? Or it was just something out here making YouTube fun again? I didn't hear from my, from my end. I didn't hear that it was a movement. I heard the blackout was a movement, but not make YouTube fun again as a movement. It was just making YouTube fun again. Hashtag. I ain't hear nobody say it was a movement. Including everybody that said they was going to join in on it and they liked the idea of it. They loved the idea, liked the idea of it. And they doing it their own way as well. I don't see why it's a problem with it. Oh, yes, I do. I see why it's a problem. Because Truth Hurts and Money Boy 
uh, supports it as well. That's the problem. That's the problem. These two content creators. Oh well, let's let's not let's throw in Flexi in there and the truth as well. <laughs> Just because they support it, oh, it's a problem. Oh, the two two seven is going down. Money boy ain't gonna destroy nothing, and I'm saying that from my mouth in regards to 227 because I am a part of 227. So he not destroying nothing. Not a thing. It's because he said what he said. We all know what he said One right. He know it too. But what we gonna do? Go over there and, and, and pull on his lips and shut his mouth? <laughs> Coat mentality, my ass. And with that said, I'm out of here. <laughs>